Welcome to college Dunya. It's been a great pleasure and honor for us to interview you. So you are please start with your profile sir. Yeah, I am Dr. Siva Subramanian. I did my doctorate from IIT Bombay in the field of uh, mining and mineral exploration basically. And uh, I came to this academic institution just four years back actually. I was in the industry, I was in a multinational company as a senior vice president. I came out of it and uh, started giving service in the academic industry basically. Right? Uh, my industrial reach is about 30 years of my experience basically. I have worked with the top notch industries in the mining, basically Tata's, Jindal, SR, even the big public sectors like Steel Authority of India, NMDC, ONGC. And uh, probably I have worked in about 35 countries in the world in the mining industry basically. So probably that, that is my short and sweet profile actually. Okay. So like, uh, what are your roles and responsibilities, sir, in Amat University? First thing is, I am in the head of the department. Okay. When I joined, the uh, department was very, very young. There was only one lab was there. Then slowly it grew up to six labs actually. So I was forced, I was given a chance to grow this department. Uh, especially in the field of uh, the talents and capabilities and capacities basically, right? And also, we have certain industrial commitments which we need to fulfill. So, as a part of it, this Amit University is having some programs, and I'm part of that program also, basically. Right? Maybe during the discussion, we may discuss touch base on that particular point and such. Right? Okay. And uh, so, what are the roles and responsibilities toward the students you have? Okay, well, uh, students need three things in life actually. One is it is their basic education. Second is how to handle the pressure if they, if they go into an industry. See, a very important thing in the mining industry is the people don't join after completing B mining as a graduate engineering training. They join as a graduate management training. They are after the two years of intensive training, they directly they get recruited as assistant managers and they are responsible for all other peripheral engineering. They are responsible for HR management, where he is an assistant manager of mines. He is a whole and soul in charge of that. So, teaching only a mere fundamental mining does not help in this field actually. We have to teach everything, that is the second part of it. Third is, as usual, you have to get them placement actually. Right? Now, the second part I will discuss a little more when we were talking, we will talk about this. Placements and other things. Sure, sir. So, like, uh, so what are the best practices offered by the departments to the students which help them gain necessary skills? Yeah, very simple. I link all the students. You have to understand all the students are doing only industrial projects. They don't do projects on their own RD, nothing. Only application and development projects of the industry. So some students will go to India Zaman, some students will go to Dalmaya Zaman, some students will go to NMDC, right? And probably uh, we'll be sending the next batch students to some top-notch uh, corporates like Tata Steel and other things. So they get to know using these internship uh, tenures, they get to know about the industry. Many of them are directly absorbed. So it is something like in the final year itself he is going to choose his career. No, okay. Right, that is the strength of the, that's the best practice which we do it. Okay. I mean, he, he does go in, suppose if he is working on a coal mine, he goes into the coal mine actually. Okay. Sir. There is a way it goes in. Okay. And uh, so how do you strategize the curriculum and how, the, how does it often get updated to make the benefit for the students? Interestingly, uh, mining engineering, it is just the sixth batch which is going to come. Okay. Right? We have already changed four times the curriculum in the service. Right? Only in the first and the second year it was not changed. From the third year onwards, a lot of changes have taken place actually. Okay. The first thing what we started doing is, people said you have to teach the application. That is what the industrial requirement was. Then slowly they moved into the next year that you have to go for more industrial application subjects basically. Then the third year they went into the, oh you are all having nice knowledge but no peripheral knowledge. Nobody knows about mine environment, nobody knows about mine legislation. Then the last year they said, okay, everything is fine. IT is very poor in your department. 
So you have to give, bring in a lot of IT projects. Oh. You have to bring in a lot of IT syllabus. For example, it is a unique uh, uh, subjects like big data and IoT in mining is one of the subjects. Okay. Right? And data science in mining is another subject actually. Okay. So these are all the things which uh, which has come up in the last uh, this thing. Maybe we may even change when they are, uh, suppose if the guy is doing his second year and the curriculum has changed, not only for the incoming for his first year, we also change the curriculum for the third year. Okay. So that he is updated with the industrial requirement. That's the main reason. Okay, fine. And so according to you, what are the challenges you face to uplift the quality of education in your department? Okay, there are two, three lacunas are there. Number okay. one, the students who are coming here for mining are having little lesser knowledge in mathematics. Right? So we have to specially teach them in mathematics. Okay. Number one. Number two is that the syllabus and other things focuses mainly on to teach the fundamentals and little bit of applications. Okay. When they go for a gate examination and other things, they are not in a position to clear the exam very easily. So a special gate coaching is required for them. Okay. Plus an aptitude training is required for them. Okay. All these things are the main focus for us to grow them out. If a guy, a guy gets a, gets through the gate examination, in public sector, there are 200 vacancies are coming. Only 180 applications comes with the gate score. You understand the how much less is the supply, how much more is the demand actually. So if he gets through a very, very minimal gate score, say 35 percentage and a qualified, he gets a job. Okay. That's a speciality of this department actually. Nice. And like, uh, so what are your views on the placement side and what are the benefits to pursue the higher education for the student based on your department? Okay, let me put it in the two different categories. One okay. is the placement, okay. another is the higher education. Uh, sincerely speaking, Placement is not an issue. No. Last year, out of 26 candidates, we, they came out, 23 of them were placed. Three of them are not placed because not because the university is not able to provide them. They are not ready to go anywhere in India. Okay. That is an issue. No. They wanted a job in Tamil Nadu, which they are not getting it. Okay. Right? You know, in mining, if you happen to see, in uh, Jharkhand, Orissa, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, all these places only are the mines are there. Okay. Tamil Nadu is very less mines are there. Okay. So, whoever we were able to place, about 17 of them, we placed it in Tamil Nadu. Six of them, we have placed it in outside the state. But remaining three people, uh, if they are ready, they can go to Jharkhand and get a job immediately. Okay. That is what is a placement issue. In placement, there are two kinds of placements are there. One placement is called a apprentice training. Another placement called graduate training. Uh, only 30% uh, will get the GMT right now because we have to improve upon on that gate uh, qualification. They don't get qualified in gate, they go for apprentice training for one year. Okay. After one year of training, he applies to Directorate General of Mind Safety for a second class manager certificate. Okay. If he gets a second class manager certificate, he doesn't require to qualify for the gate. Still, he will be placed in the second year okay. as graduate management training. It is like one more year extra he has to work for it. Okay. That is the purpose of this particular. No. And like, uh, so what are the futures and what are the training you have given for the faculties to, to maintain the industry oriented competitions? So what are the best key, key futures for the faculties in your departments? Okay. Uh, first thing is, most of our faculties are from IITs and ISMs. Okay. Indian School of Mines and IITs. Okay. okay. They themselves do a lot of research and do things actually. Okay. Second important thing is we give a lot of uh, faculty development programs. We, we appreciate, we make it mandatory to attend one, one MDP every semester actually. Okay. That is the first thing. Second thing is, as an industrialist, I involve most of the faculties in the industrial process. Okay. So that they get field exposure to that actually. Okay. Now probably in a year or two, they themselves will bid for the industrial project and get the project That is the way the growth is there. Everything is industrial oriented. Nothing is, yeah, academics is important. I'm not denying the fact, but no. we teach fundamental, but we don't stop there. That is a fundamental. No. 
it's been a great uh, pleasure to have an interview like this. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Sir. Thank you.